SMT Nation, we back. We're going to be discussing band compatibility for the iPhone 14. Uh, for those of you that are considering the phone, or maybe it's on your uh, radars of sorts, it's in your crosshairs, it's possibly something you want to upgrade to, you might want to make a decision based on its cellular connectivity and what type of band support it has. All right, so looking at the iPhone 14 and the 14 Plus, this is the regular sized phone. Uh, I'm looking here at the United States model. It's the same as the Puerto Rico model, if that matters to you. You have the iPhone 14, which is model A2649. The iPhone 14 Plus, that'll be the larger variant of the iPhone 14, A2632. Neither of these are to be confused with the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max, which have different model numbers, but the cellular bands are all the same. All right, so starting first with the 5G band support. For the U.S., you have N2, N5. All right, so N2 is all carriers. N5 is going to be AT&T and Verizon. All right, and they do, um, well, AT&T does like a dedicated 5G band. Uh, Verizon does DSS with that. So just to kind of throw that out there. Eventually, we th we know that the 2.5 gigahertz frequency for uh, T-Mobile will eventually go N7. So put that on your radar when the mode does change. Uh, notice here you've got the AT&T N12 for their 700 megahertz. And then you have AT&T's N14. First net, right? 700 megahertz, band 14. It will eventually go 5G. So it's there. Uh, you got N25, which is PCS, the same as band 2. Um, that's formerly Sprint. Now it's with T-Mobile. They'll be doing N25 soon. N26, which is 800 megahertz, used to be Sprint. I guess it's technically T-Mobile's. Dish was supposed to buy it, but they haven't, and I don't think they will. All right, so you got that. And then you have N28 and N29 support. Uh, think AT&T and Dish there. And then you have N30, which is the 2300 megahertz, uh, which if you guys know about XM Radio and AT&T, uh, that's that frequency. You have N41, which is uh, T-Mobile's 5G UC. You have N48, which is Verizon's CBRS 5G version of Band 48. Uh, AT&T doesn't do CBRS, from what I understand. I haven't seen it before. Uh, we do see T-Mobile with some licenses as well as Dish. So when they do go 5G, that's enabled. You have N53. I don't know about this band. I don't know much about it. Maybe that's something for me to look into there. I know it's an S-band frequency. Uh, that might be satellite associated. Um, so just kind of put that on the radar. N66 is all carriers. N70, it's um, that's AWS4, which uh, that's a DISH band. N71, T-Mobile and DISH. Then you have N77, which is C-band for all carriers, uh, whether it's the 3700 frequency or it's the 3450 frequency. Uh, that's It's going to be N77. And then N78 is international roaming for C-band. Uh, and so is the N79. Uh, the three millimeter wave frequencies down here. All right. So traditionally, the bottom two, N260 and N261, those have been deployed for a couple of years now. Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. But uh, there's another, there's a new band. This is uh, N258 that's uh, joining the party here. Uh, so put that on your, uh, on your radar as well. Uh, from the LTE side of things, not much has changed. All the stuff that's been there, uh, you will see that there's the unlicensed band 46 that's included. You have band 48. It says 3600. I think that's because it's 3550. All right, so that makes sense. That's CBRS. And then, uh, yeah, everything else is pretty much the same. I don't see anything really absent there. It's got, it's got you covered. All right, so that's everything that you need to know about the cellular bands um dish joins the party here with band support for the new iphones that's good they're they're in there so you if you're interested in trying dish and you got this phone uh the native dish 5g network will be supported uh this future proofs you with at&t this future proofs you with verizon and it future proofs you with t-mobile for a while you're good you can buy this phone with confidence if you're looking at the cellular band support let me know if you guys have any questions or comments on the band support. Uh, just to kind of throw this out there, I did a video on it, but you know that you don't have physical SIM support on this phone. You are going to have to activate with eSIM. You can run dual eSIMs, though. And, of course, you can have more in terms of profiles, but those are important things to know about this. 
I'll definitely be ordering one myself, at least one, maybe two of these phones. Uh, we'll test the cellular, the antennas, the performance, the carrier aggregation settings, the modem. We'll test everything. Uh, but what are you guys looking forward to? What are you glad to see that's there for the band support? Comment down below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links are in the description for everything going on with the channel, my Patreon page, my Twitter handle, and all business inquiries can go to the Gmail address in the description. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.